Last night, my uncle gave me $500 to give to one of his friends in the mosque. He was going out of town and needed to get this to him by today. So I set out to Asr to meet him. It worked out well since I was planning on visiting a friend who lived near the mosque anyway. And it was, of course, a chance to also catch the prayer in congregation. I was scared and embarrassed. I didn't know what I would tell my uncle. It wasn't even about the money because I knew I could find a way to get that amount from somewhere if I really had to. But if my uncle found out, he'd be extremely upset. First I was scared, then confused, then just annoyed. I mean, where could it have gone? I then calmed myself down by remembering that the Prophet, peace be upon him, taught Allah has decreed and what he willed has happened. My being annoyed isn't going to bring back the money. And for now, I just need to find a way to get $500 to my uncle's friend. I still figured though that I should probably report it to the cops and hope for the best. So I decided I'd take the bus over to the police station. The other man taking the bus seemed really uncomfortable with me, looking at me suspiciously as if I was up to no good. But I'd gotten that look before. And as usual, I simply smiled at him and greeted him the way I do with everyone else. He continued to stare at me with that same look, and I couldn't figure out why. It was like I was carrying a bomb or something. And I noticed he kept looking at my bag. So I wanted to put him at ease. I pulled out a bag of dates and asked him if he would like some. He smiled and said I'd never eaten those before. I told him jokingly to give it a chance. I promise you they're not poisoned. So he hesitantly agreed, took a bite, and finally cracked a smile. The man asked me if I knew him because of the way I warmly greeted him. After all, strangers don't usually hand you dates to eat on a bus in America. I told him, no, I'm just Muslim, and this is how we were taught to treat people. He then asked, what does the ring say? It looks like something I've seen Islamic terrorists wear on TV. I said it says Muhammad the Messenger of God, and he was a messenger of peace. And so that led to an interesting conversation. I told him, I've seen people kill in the name of Christ, but I don't blame Jesus, peace be upon him, for their actions. Likewise, our prophet and religion is free from those people. Interestingly enough, he admitted to me that he stereotyped me as well. He said that he saw me when I left the mosque and thought I was a terrorist because I put the bag on the ground and ran off. I laughed, then apologized, then explained to him that I was distracted because I just lost $500 and I was trying to find it before anyone else would pick it up. I honestly wasn't surprised by his perception of me. Let's face it, the media contributes to creating this distorted perception of Muslims. And if those were the only images we saw of Muslims, we would probably think the same. I told him that if he was really interested in understanding terrorism, he could read the FBI's 2005 report on domestic terrorism, which said that Muslims account for only 6% of the terrorist attacks carried out on American soil. I stressed that violence has no religion, and that our religion is one of peace, that we even greet each other with peace and that the word Islam is derived from the word peace. And anyone who reads about our Prophet, peace be upon him, will know that he and his followers never sanctioned harming innocent people. And in fact, the Quran likened killing one innocent person to killing all of mankind. A man asked the Messenger of Allah, which act in Islam is best? He said to feed the poor and to greet those who you know and those who you don't know. He also said, smiling in the face of your brother is an act of charity. There are many sayings of the Prophet, peace be upon him, similar to these, that completely contradict the image that's been painted of him. Islam is derived from peace. One of Allah's names is As-Salam, peace. And our greeting as Muslims is Salam, peace. Suddenly he tapped me on the back and said he figured out on the bus that the money belonged to me and admitted that he wasn't initially going to return it to me. But when I smiled at him the way I did, greeted him, offered him dates, and talked to him, everything he thought about Muslims slowly started to disappear, and he felt compelled to give me the money. 
So I thanked him for that. And he said, I'm the one who should be thanked, for I taught him a valuable lesson today. We shook hands and he left. But I knew that his hand was not all that I had touched. Abdullah ibn Salam said that the first words he heard from the Prophet, peace be upon him, were, O oh people, spread peace amongst yourselves, and feed your poor, and pray at night as others around you sleep, and you will enter paradise in peace. Allahumma salli wa sallim ala nabiyyina Muhammad.